to do a couple of demonstrations about the new Orbo motor and sort of how it works with the um, toroid coils. First I've got a wire and um, it's going in the east-west direction and I'm going to have the current running through the wire so according to the right hand thumb rule the, um, the magnetic field around the wire will be going in the direction of the arrows and I've got a little needle and the lower end of this needle is a north pole so when I touch the battery we'll see the needle move in the direction of those arrows so I'm just going to demonstrate that first so uh, it's a bit windy today I'll start tapping, you'll see I've got a light bulb here too you'll see when the light goes on the needle will move in the direction of the arrows see and make it move in the direction of the arrows every time I tap the battery. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace the uh, wire with uh, the toroid coil and I'll hang the needle over here and we'll see if we can make that move as well. Alright, now I've got the toroid set up so that the, cut, the magnetic flow in the, in the core of the toroid is going in the direction of the arrows. We can prove that again. We've got the needle, got the little needle there, and it'll swing in the direction of the arrows when I tap the battery now. See? So, I'll just do that one more time. See there. So that's showing the current in the, the magnetic field in the core of the core there going in the direction of the arrows when it's energised. Now this time what I'm doing here is I've got the wire at the little needle sitting <coughs> directly on top of one of the wires as you can see there. Now when I tap the battery, you see that the needle, see I'm tapping the battery here, you can see the light bulb going on and off, but the needle is hardly moving at all. There's hardly anything. In actual fact it should be going, the needle should move in the opposite direction to these arrows on the outside of the toroid. But you can see that, that um, there's very little hardly any movement at all when I'm tapping the battery still about once a second and that's just the wind there <laughs> so now I tap the battery and very little movement on the outside of the toroid at all this time I've got the toroid in a box of iron filings and I've got a big stack of magnets on the side there and I've got some on the other side. So you can see that when the toroid's facing the magnet that you've got all these little domains here and you can see they're all pointing more or less directly to the magnet. So what happens is when you energize the coil as we saw with the needle the needle swings, which shows that what we really have, what we're doing is we're getting these domains and turning them angularly. So we've got to displace those domains to um, make it so that the magnet here loses its attraction. And you can see them. When the when the um, when the um, toroid is energised, it's more or less got the domains running along this way. See, but um, of course the toroid's facing the other way. The domains from the wires, the, the current from the wires magnetises it like this. 
while the energy's on. So that's why the outside magnets don't want to stick to it. But when the current's off, when the power's off, the magnets will attract and you can see all the domains lined up across, pointing across the core of the toroid. But when the current's on in the wires, all these domains more or less pointing along the toroid. So it still still takes energy to um, still takes energy to get those domains from lined up this way to lined up this way. So um, it just depends now on people's builds and calculations to see how it all pans out.